Wow, straight to Okay, I thought it was gonna be a cutscene. Never mind. Now, the first few areas are actually really easy. Um, as you would expect them to be. Yes, yeah, slide! Um, yes, you can slide downhill if you get enough momentum. And you can also wall jump Ninja Gaiden style. Uh, the first few areas are pretty easy, but I wouldn't actually say the game itself is actually that hard. Um, oh, I forgot to slide. Um, text does kind of blend into the background sometimes. You're so focused on what's in front of you, you don't want to read something that's on the screen. Um, as you see, you go down. It doesn't actually kill you or anything. There are some times when you're, the fall will kill you. Um, as you can see, the screen's getting kind of green. Missed that there. But basically what the game's about, basically, it wants you to replay it numerous times. But you'll also notice, most likely, that um, when you get hit, you don't take any damage. The whole point of the game is to get away, and pretty much the punishment for getting hit is it slows you down for a minute. Now I'm sure people out there who are like complete pros at this and they just run through it without even trying at all. I just kind of blitz through it, but I can't process everything that fast, so I basically just I'm happy with that. However, I'm pretty sure there's a secret area up there too. I wanted to stop for a second and do that because if you start wall jumping, you can't shoot. And into Akihabara, or something. Now, the game, I actually do appreciate the game mixes up a bit. The whole game is not this. It's not just running non-stop, and that's the whole game. It also has a couple of other gameplay styles, like there's one where you're going on a bike, there's a couple of fighting ones, um, although it does really accentuate just how short those sections are. Uh, in comparison to the rest of the game, in comparison to the uh, movie scenes, and it really makes me feel like this is more of a movie than a game, generally. Um, so what, she's still going after her father? Yeah, still going after her father, okay. And as you can see, they're, they're introducing new mechanics for pretty much every level. Um, now, now they're saying that you can... Uh, Hit projectiles back, which is really hard for me usually. Uh, <laughs> uh, I missed it. But anyway, about those um. The gifts you can see occasionally, uh, they give you like concept art and uh, other things along those lines. Um, the only issue is it's really hard to get all of them. Um, and I don't mean hard as in, oh man, some of them are in such out of the way spots and they're really hard to get to. I mean as in they're hard to get because it's hard to know which ones you're missing. Um, after you finish a level and come back, the gifts you already had gotten, uh, ugh, the gifts you had already gotten. They respawn. So when you come back to a level, sometimes you just feel like there's no way you can avoid it, those holes. Ugh. I think it's this level soon, if they're coming up, there's sometimes rooms that you have to kill everyone in the room to open the door, and they're the ones that'll usually get you. Um, I'll 
try and be careful here. There we go. Yeah, this one. Ugh. And then you get to do this terrible platforming. And now we can go. Alright. What is that? Alright. There we go. <laughs> but as you see, you get to those rooms that are locked down until you kill all the enemies in them. And then the ones that you get done in, and they're right at the very end of the level. So that's like the extra two minutes you have to run through the level to get to this opportunity, and that's why I stress you, you need to save those bullets. You can't just use them up running forward. Um, you need to save them for those kind of areas where you get stuck for a second, and you need to keep those touchy-touchy hands away from you for a while. But anyway, as you saw, that was three levels. There's about seven, eight levels in the whole game, so... Is there another one? There is! Oh, I totally forgot about this one. I thought I was moving on to... Something else here. Might not take that long to get through the game as I thought. I mean, I thought I swore I was keeping more cutscenes than this. But as you can see, Gifts are usually situated somewhere up high. You need to learn quite a few jumps, and the uh, the jumping is kind of slippery, I must say. Not, I wouldn't say I'm very good at this game, to be honest. But can you see why I thought this was going to be a bullet hell game? Just look at this. Look at this. Oh, barely made it. If that one there, if that closes before you get there, um, you have to go up the top. And then do the whole thing again, pretty much. Well, it isn't necessarily hard or anything. It just... I'm guessing that's the end now because we're moving into some shipping containers. But that's I'm doing pretty well so far. I haven't actually died yet. That's good. Um, there is a trophy for not dying through the entire game. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. There's an exploit for that too. You can kind of just um, turn the game off as you die because it doesn't save unless you actually press on the continue or the retry or one of those buttons once you're dead. Um, but yeah, you've pretty much had a look now at the running levels. That's pretty much what they look like. Um, not overly hard. Or is there another one? Are you going to do show me another one right now? Yes. This has got to be the last one. This is a hotel. Where else would the evil father be staying? Except the hotel. So much wall jump. Man, I want to make it, want to make it, want to make it. Yeah. Nope. Oh, good. I fell. But as you can see, getting some of these gifts would actually be, while not, I wouldn't say hard, 
you just have to lock out and get like a bunch of jumps in a row. There we go. one by itself is when it gets a bit tricky. Have I found my father? Is he in room triple zero? 